All right, let me take a couple of phone calls. Do you want to talk to uh, the phone sex lady? Yeah. yeah. Let me take a phone call or okay. two, and then you'll line her up. It's just like when somebody has a complaint about the Johnny Carson show. They call their local station. They right. Call. People are so stupid. <laughs> Hollywood. I wonder how old Cindy's daughter was. Hello? You gotta be in their teens. Now. Yeah. Hey, dude, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. Howie. Yeah. How you doing? All right. Okay. Um. You're great. All right, I'm sorry. Anyways, um. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. How could you forget? <laughs> I mean, now, I Howard, know. you get very nervous no, when that, somebody. Maybe know. you should do what I told Fred to do. Write, jot down notes. You know, I was going to do that. I didn't think I'd get through. I get that stupid recording. Yeah, well, you got okay. through, and now you got nothing to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Now okay. you sound like all the jerks that you hear on the air all okay. the time. Uh, real quick, I know you're not allowed to discuss it. Yeah. China girl. Whatever happened. Not no, it's not that. I, who said I'm not allowed to discuss it? Well, you haven't discussed it in like four, three, four years. I don't know. I think she's, uh, I don't know. She, she, Jerry left town and that was it. I mean, she, we haven't heard from her since. It was sort of, Jerry was, uh, oh, funny. Was so funny. All right. Thanks that for the call. China man, then on the door. China man too. I mean, I Jerry was the connection for Where all the China people? people. Well, Jerry found them all. Uh, even Underdog Lady? Though. No, no. Underdog Lady we found, uh, um, through these guys who do a cable TV show. Uh-huh. And Gary found her. Wow. Yeah. Could I take, uh, for the dice ticket? Oh. Mm, okay. You want to play a game or something? Yeah. All right, real quick. Hey, trivia. Give me one of these. Uh, not too hard, huh? Not trivial. I'll give you something better. I've been listening to you for, since you been just about when you went into Philadelphia. I think we're all going to the Dice Show. I know I got tickets. Did you? Yeah, I did. I heard Sutter and John's going and Gary's going. Hmm. Fred, you going? What's that? To dice. the Dice Show? No Dice. No Dice? No Dice. Why not? Dice. Not into him? Not into him, no. Really? You're not into Dice? No, I'm not into the Dice. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm not a dice fan. Oh. I like he's, dice. He's like the Nora Dunn of the group. He likes dice. I wanted to hear this. He well, likes dice, dice but... I think he's really talented, but uh, he just doesn't uh, stir me, you know? Right. What can I say? Right. I'm not going to put the guy down. All right. Doesn't make Fred laugh. <laughs> but the rest of us, we laugh. Uh, as long as you make him laugh. Oh, yeah, I make Fred laugh. You're damn oh, right he, he laughs. I think you're the only one. Who makes I, I kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like looking. At, you know, that's what you know. When I do my show, I take a uh, Gary. Come in and give me the stuff for the dice tickets. But when uh, I do my show, I keep a big giant book in front of my face. I have it positioned so I can't see Fred because there's nothing like playing to Fred. There's a guy with a blank stare. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, the guy literally has one of these things where he's just off drifting into space. And it's so frightening. It's just frightening. You're going, where's Fred? I wonder where he is right now. I wonder where his mind is. Yeah, I wonder if something horrible happened to him when he was a kid and he's like always there. Reliving it every minute. He, he, he fell out of the uh, the uh, spaceship from Mars. <laughs> he fell out, huh? Yeah. You think he landed on Earth with a thud, huh? Yeah. All right, Gary, give me something to do with this guy who wants a dice stick.